everyone, this is Cardal. Um, little bit of Cardano node development here. I uh, just want to make a really quick video, or as quick as I can, uh, on a, a thing that I managed to get working. Uh, I had never been able to get the Windows version of the node to run. I couldn't get it to compile. Uh, I had issues with the socket, and I was just starting out. I didn't know enough about it. Then I was introduced to the CN tools and the guild operator guys got nodes running. It was all good. However, virtual machines take up a lot of RAM. And my current machine has 48 gig of RAM. And what you can see is that right now running two machines and the wallet, I'm sitting at 44 gig of used memory. The two virtual machines use like 17 and 19 gig of RAM just, just between the two. So on top of everything else I'm running, I'm starting to run into memory issues, so I had to get more RAM. The thing that I wanted to try today was to see if I could interface with the Daedalus client. So the main problem with the Daedalus client is on Windows is the way that they communicate. So the Daedalus wallet has a launcher that starts, and it basically uses the IPC or inter-process communications to talk between the different applications. So the launcher creates the socket that on Linux is called node0.socket, but in Windows it's called a pipe instead, and that's how it communicates between the stuff, so all the different applications. So what happens is instead of having this wallet interface and you use this, I wanted to be able to query my own things using JavaScript on, say, a Node.js API that we, I've made on Linux, but I wanted to try it on Windows and get it working. And for that, I had to heavily modify, to a certain extent, the Cardano CLI.js module. And um, I will show you a little bit more about that later. But in order to find this, there's a couple things we have to do. First off, we have to go into our environment variables. And we have to find the path and edit this to add in the Daedalus mainnet directory. So this is where uh, the the CLI, the launcher, the node, the wallet, address, all these are the applications that Windows, the builds that come with it. And the launcher is the one that you use. So what I did is I added this path into my Windows so that it knows that the CLI is in there. So whatever version of Daedalus wallet I'm using, it's going to be that version is what I'm going to be querying. So I added that value into here, say OK, and then we can get rid of that now. You make sure your wallet's running, and then uh, we will go into uh, this machine's Visual Studio code. Uh, and I've done the Armada Alliance tutorials for, from the Berry Pool uh, on how to fetch the config file and stuff like that. Um, slight uh, adjustments because it's Windows, don't have wget, but I do have curl installed. So I just did the same thing with the uh, the node version or the, the version of it to get uh, to pull the Shelly Genesis file into here. Same way, a little different writing. The Cardano is slightly different, but it works with this particular project. We have I've created a wallet using this already, so I know that part works, so it does communicate. Uh, and uh, the actual code is using a node PowerShell, so I can execute a PowerShell command. And that's because this command right here lets me filter out all the entries of every pipe on the system and return the one that matches Cardano-node. Now it's dot and then like a number of the process ID and then dot zero, for example. Uh, this changes every time you restart the wallet. So you want to launch the wallet and then run your application. Make sure your wallet's running and synced up or you won't be able to uh, actually query anything on the blockchain. So this basically executes this command and then calls back the output and sets it as the process environment variable of the Cardano node socket path and it trims the, the excess. So at the end there's like spaces and new lines and stuff like that. Just gets rid of all that and sets it as the path and uh, you can see here if I go like this it's setting the socket variable and then it queries the tip which is the where it kind of stopped so the other half of this equation is the Cardano CLI uh, JS module and it is uh, modified to the point where I have added at the very top 
a reference to the OS module and then um, <clears throat> I have a bunch of these type of things in here it's not not the cleanest but I'll fix it later if I continue this so uh, if the OS platform is Win32 which means we're running Windows it's going to do uh, this command for um, creating the directory if it doesn't exist I have a couple other places in here uh, where's the directory one right here so uh, it's setting up the keys to your wallet in the paths okay uh, if you're on Windows it sets it like this otherwise it can do it like this in uh, Linux uh, and then it checks that they exist it works normally that way and then when you check to see if the path exists um, it will do a make directory if it doesn't exist in three stages make directory does not like it apparently when you join paths together multiple times like three three deep it was erroring out and this is the only way I could get it to work otherwise it will do the Linux version of it which is so much cleaner but anyways a lot of these things uh, are running exec sync so a lot of these commands if you do a search for exec sync you'll find a lot of these things and if you find one that it just crashes on uh, you can go through and you'll have to add something like this into there um, I will not be making this available yet until I'm happy with it and um, yeah it works uh, I can get to the point where I can create an address or can create a wallet and I can query the tip and everything else is not working as far as I know I haven't tried to send and received uh, any ADA to this wallet I might um, change this to uh, instead of the mainnet wallet change it to the testnet and just see if I can get it to work with that uh, which will require me changing a bunch of other stuff. But anyways, I wanted to put this out there. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, first successful operation of a, a Windows development environment with Cardano Node without having to set up a virtual machine or anything like that. I, it's, it's, I'm really happy about this. I'm really glad that I got this to work. So anyways, I uh, hope you found this interesting. If you have any uh, questions about this, uh, if you want this code uh, for the actual... Um, for this part of it here um, I can make this available um, just leave a comment down below and I can uh, message it to you so anyways uh, thanks and uh, we'll check you guys later